Right now we're farming for stamina potions uh, because I think stamina potions, if they're good, I think stamina potions might be meta for tank builds, but I want to see how good they are. Uh, so we have, uh, so they're called endurance potions in this game. So what we're going to do is, um, so the reason stamina potions or endurance potions might be meta is because managing your um, stamina as a tank is gonna is clutch and if you can have something that keeps your stamina coming back real heavily that's less that you'll get stunned and break and take a big hit which means you'll be able to just absorb more damage absorb more damage more efficiently so through a little bit of testing I realized that when you take hits, if you continue to hold your shield up, your stamina will not regen. Um, and if you put your shield down, then it starts to regen. And if you put your shield back up, it'll stop again. Um, if you lose, but you lose less stamina taking a hit with a tower shield. If you're going hard tank, a tower shield is what you want. Tower shield. Okay. Where do I get a tower shield? I actually didn't know that. Either way, I think endurance potions are going to be nice things to pop during boss fights and hard content. That's what I think. So let's just take a look at... So you'll notice that my stamina never comes back. Now, when I take a hit, ready? So let's take another hit. Drop it one. Okay, so it's about a second until it comes back. So see that? Drop one. Hold on. One, two. Yeah. All right, let's pop the potion now and let's see what happens. All right, first thing we're gonna do. Oh, it comes back immediately. Look, 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 ready, watch. Drop. Oh, as soon as you lower your guard. The second you, dude. Watch, ready? Watch the stamina. Drop. As soon as you drop your shield, the stamina regens immediately. There's no delay anymore. Heck yeah, dude. Endurance potions are definitely meta. Um, so this is, you know, this is the beta. I'm still learning a lot of stuff here. But yeah, I'm running, uh, I'm running sword and shield. Here's what my tree looks like so far. I still have a couple more points to upgrade. I'm using Whirling Blade, Shield Rush, and Defiant Stance. Defiant Stance is mainly used uh, in conjunction with the, um, what's it called? Gem on my sword, where taunts are generate 200% more threats. So the whole build is based around generating threat. Uh, I'm running all heavy armor. And uh, my secondary weapon, I'm just using this right now for solo play. But I am running full tank, full taunt. So what we wanted to do is is look at, since the tank build is based all around, uh, you know, when you run out of endurance, you become stunned. I wanted to keep up endurance as much as possible or the stamina bar. Uh, so that requires, or you can supplement it with a strong endurance potion, which unlocks at level 54. So to do that, and this is, you know, with help to Jacques Wee. You can either craft iron staffs, which you can do. You can see I can craft a bunch right, or a couple right now. These give 276 arcana. You could go farm iron. You could kill a bunch of animals. You could farm uh, different life essence plants for life motes and craft a shit ton of these. And it would be just as effective. Or you can make common focus potion, which is just water and motes. You would do that by running out and uh, grabbing a bunch of water and then we've just bought water motes and just crafted a shit ton of these, like hundreds of them, and leveled our arcana up to 55 is super easy. All right, so that so once you do that, you unlock the strong endurance potion. So that's water. Water's easy. Uh, petal caps are everywhere, and earth motes you get from uh, earth crags and earth spines. I just marked them on the map. Ran around, collected a bunch of those, and then um, you get air wisps as well uh, while you're running around and you're collecting uh, shock bulbs and shock spires. So you mark on your map, shock bulb, shock spire, and then you mark petal cap and earth spine and earth crag. So those five things. And exclamation point map to look at the map. Yeah, I'm, I'm way over leveled for this activity. I'm only doing it because 
like, fuck it, why not? Here we go, pop a little stamina potion. Yeah, I mean, my stamina definitely does come back right away. Like, I can take a hit, block, release, block, release, and I, and I basically keep my, uh, my stamina up full the whole time. I'm really curious how it is at the boss. I want to see, I want, like, at the main boss, I want to see if I can keep my stamina up. This guy's still super chunky, boy, man. Got some other people up in this bitch. Beach mode. All right, I'm gonna pop all my buffs here. I'm gonna pop my stamina. I'm gonna pop uh, my weapon increase. I'm gonna pop everything. I'll pop stamina. We'll pop weapon increase. We'll get aggro. Let's see if I can keep my uh, salmon up. Oh, he he stuns me with that AOE attack. Yeah, I mean, I'm keeping a, I'm keeping a hundred percent stamina. Does his, does his thing get rid of his thing? Might actually get rid of my uh, potion. Okay, I see the buff now. Hey, come, come to me, pussy. See the stamina regen there? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like it, dude. I like it. I mean, I'm able to keep this guy's aggro and literally, like, keep my stamina up pretty heavily. Except when he does that, that attack definitely stuns me. But yeah, I mean, I like it. Just the, that little boost in, uh, that little boost in stamina regen or endurance regen is actually really nice.